Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today we are in Claremont, Florida, just minutes down the road from the major theme parks in Orlando at the President's Hall of Fame. This is one of the oldest original roadside attractions in Florida and there is all kinds of stuff in there. It's got china and clothes and a miniature of the White House and I mean this stuff has been seen at the White House, at the Smithsonian, at presidential libraries, it's been on the Today Show, Good Morning America all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to look them up, check out their, their Facebook page, Instagram. Uh, they're working on getting the, the website up and running. All kinds of cool stuff to see out here at the President's Hall of Fame. And if you didn't know it existed, we're going to give you a peek inside. Here it is, the President's Hall of Fame, located in Claremont, Florida. This is not far from the major theme parks in Orlando. So if you're in the area and you wanna see one of the original oldest roadside attractions in the state of Florida, you need to come here. Especially if you're interested in anything political, presidential, White House related. I mean, there is so much stuff in here. It is, it, it, it's an incredible display, and a lot of this stuff has been seen in the White House, in the Smithsonian, in Time Magazine, Newsweek, on the Today Show, Good Morning America. It is just an amazing find that I don't think enough people really know about. This opened as the House of Presidents in 1964 as a wax museum. It was George Washington through LBJ were the only things that were in the building. John and Jan Zweifel purchased the building in 1993, and John added his private collection of presidential memorabilia. Quite a bit of it. When it first opened, the first wax figures, those were created by Leone Cheney, who was considered to be the Madame Trousseau of the United States. Then it was different companies from Nixon up through President Trump. We do not have a Biden yet. It's in the process. But John needed a place to display his collection. And what a collection it is. Huge, huge. Everywhere you look, there is stuff. There is, you know, White House China. There are clothes. Um, there are old newspapers. Here's a life cast of Lincoln. Just amazing, amazing things uh, that, I, I mean, it's... I don't know where he found all of it. It's crazy. Um, but there are signed letters from the president and wax figures. I mean, you name it, it's it's in here. And one of the, the big draws in here is this miniature of the White House. It's amazing. And take a look for the other video on this channel, which just focuses on this miniature because more time needs to be devoted to to how detailed this is but this is a miniature of the white house that traveled around the country for years i remember seeing it actually in anchorage alaska in the 70s and uh this is now housed right here in claremont florida and this is worth going to the attraction just in itself but it really wasn't about owning a museum or an attraction the replica of the White House traveled around the country for 15 years. Even this display, the building of the White House. This was shown at the White House in the East Room. When the replica was put into the building, it started off quite well. It was a new owner. But John didn't advertise very much. And that's what this is all about, to let you all know about the place. While it was traveling, the venues that it went to, they did the advertising. So John never associated spending the money with the advertising. He just thought he was really popular. And it's still that way today. But eventually we'll get there. And the word of mouth is the best kind of advertising. So when you watch this video, tell everybody about it. On top of all of this, there are also lots of 
Instagrammable opportunities like this with the mini Mount Rushmore. You can be the president for the day. <laughs> you can go out to the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, you can even be a creeper in the Oval Office, just like me right there. And it doesn't end there. Even the gift shop is a museum in itself. There is so much stuff in this gift shop that I never knew existed from buttons and pins. Here's even a talking Jacqueline Kennedy action figure. And there are accessories also. There are other dresses <laughs> that they sell that you can put on her. There's plates and mugs and coffee cups and dolls and trains and hats and shirts and magnets. And uh, look, at, look at these little guys. These are hilarious. I love them. And I especially love these if you need a little Bill and Hillary in a cartoon style. I mean, amazing, amazing stuff that I have never seen before in my life. I, and, and you could go here probably multiple times and see stuff that you didn't see before. There is so much stuff in here. But like I say, it is an amazing attraction in Claremont, Florida that is well worth the time stopping in and seeing if you're in the Orlando area. There you go. That is a peek inside the President's Hall of Fame out here in Claremont, Florida. Lots of really cool stuff. Watch for another video coming up on this channel that's just going to focus on the miniature of the White House replica because it's so detailed, it needs more time of its own. So watch for that one. And uh, I hope this has given you kind of an overview of the place though. So if you've liked this video, click on that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.